you how you should approach the future my personal predictions what would i do in your place what am i personally doing right now as an educator in the industry one of the most stupid reasoning that i have heard so far no marketing in this video i am not pitching any paid course the future of software engineering is dead software engineers are going to be jobless agents are going to take over there's a lot of fear mongering going on in the industry and i want to just sit and talk to you today i want to talk about my own personal take on this and what i think you should be doing this is like my personal opinion like a sister to you how you should approach the future my personal predictions and what would i do in your place and what am i personally doing right now as an educator in the industry so i want to talk about all of this let's get started with the very first thing okay anyone who is not accepting that the industry is changing very rapidly is just being in denial and is according to me being slightly stupid okay i think everyone should accept the fact that what was there in 2023 2024 is going to change a lot in 2025 2026 we know that llms are coming every single day the news of ai is coming every single day and the world is changing First thing is that you need to accept that the world is changing. Just knowing the SA, LLD, HLD for software engineers is not going to be enough. That is true. I think everyone should accept the fact that the world is changing and we need to be ready for it. Okay. Secondly, according to me there are two kinds of people. Let's talk about 2020 COVID. We knew that the world is changing. We knew that that was the best time to be a software engineer. The market was at all time high and the future of software engineers just seemed awesome. right then also there were two kinds of people number one were those who kept complaining on linkedin that the interview process is not good why do we have to study dsa lld hld it is not relevant to what we do it is not good that is not good they kept complaining about it and they did nothing and then there were the second kind of people who used the opportunity really well who got hikes who changed the jobs who made sure that they upskilled and used the opportunity well they started earning more right whatever happened after that okay they have happened all of this happened but right now also i think we are in very similar situation again there are going to be one kind of people who are going to keep complaining on linkedin who are going to say this is not good there is no point of studying for software engineers why to study don't do this don't do that according to these people we should just stop knowing anything at all because now everything can be answered by chat gpt or by any llm out there so according to them we should not know basic english we don't we should not know basic maths why should we know coding when coding can be done by agents for us right so this is like one of the most stupid reasoning that i have heard so far that why there's no point of studying now why to study and all this these are the people who are just going to put more fear inside you these are the negative kind of people and if there is someone around you who is talking in this sense first thing that you should be doing is kick them out of your life like very very honest over here the kind of people who you are going to surround yourself with are going to decide that what is your future going to be like now they are going to be second kind of people who are going to upskill i personally as your well wisher would really really want that you are in this category now a lot of people are very scared that how do you even get started with machine learning ai when the world has already changed so much when there are so many agents out there are so many realms out there and we do not know how to get started now at least you thinking right and i really want to help you over here okay and if you think i'm going to pitch my courses and all now no there is going to be absolutely no marketing in this video i am not pitching any paid course nothing like that is going to happen in this video okay i just want to tell you that what you should be doing and it is going to be completely free but you should be doing something about it right it is your future you have to take it in your hands what you should be doing i'll tell you let's get started with talking about me first see i am an educator in this industry my bread and butter is from teaching to software engineers right now if software engineers ka future changes my future also changes my bread and butter is completely teaching software engineers so what am i doing personally see if you think about it i have courses on dsa lld hld i could have just taught that that is being asked in the interviews and educosis is doing pretty well i could have just continued with it peacefully but now why am i talking about machine learning why have i started my own jenny ai course why am i stepping out of my comfort zone why have been learning machine learning since the past few months why am i creating a free playlist on uh, youtube on machine learning why am i switching my focus to machine learning slowly because i truly believe that it is the future now let me talk about my experience how hard was it for me to study see if you think about it i don't have a data science degree right i technically if you think about it i never had a cs degree i am an electrical and electronics student i studied everything myself dsa lld hld and i have helped thousands of people crack good jobs i truly believe 
it is not hard, especially for software engineers to learn machine learning, AI, Gen AI, all of this. Now, in the starting, there are a lot of terms. And in the starting, it did seem a bit overwhelming that there is so much, I don't know where to get started. But it is definitely possible. See, there is some theory that you need to understand. But for software engineers, if you have to get started with building the apps based on LLMs, or if you have to just use the frameworks, then it is really not that hard. Once you understand the basics, if you understand the theory, then there are so many frameworks, there are so many solutions, so many agents out there that it has become very easy for us. And let me tell you, I think all of us accept this and I think all of us already know this, that for software engineers, we already have to always upskill. If you see a few years ago, it is not like software engineers were expected to know cloud solutions, they were expected to know AWS. It is not like they were expected to know so much of HLD, LLD. As the years pass by, the expectations increased. I think all of us know that software engineers have to continuously keep studying, they continuously have to upskill themselves. Now, this is a turning point in the industry right now. It is a very, very important point right now. And we really need to upskill. You really need to invest in yourself. And I'm here today to tell you it is not so hard. Just get your basics right, okay? I know every day there are so many frameworks coming, there are so many LLMs coming out there, there are so many agents coming out there, but get your basics right. At least spend some time on the basics. Be comfortable with Python, be comfortable using uh, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, uh, know what are the LLMs, create some basic apps based on LLMs, this will also enhance your resume, right? And it is very easy. And if you're getting started, I am creating a free playlist on YouTube, okay? And this is a personal decision that I have taken that this year I'm going to focus on machine learning a lot. The playlist, okay, I know I have committed a few things and not been able to finish those playlists, but you will see it this time being implemented. You will see a lot of end-to-end -end projects. You will see a lot of free stuff coming. If you see already, there are a few videos which are out there. They're all like one hour, one and a half hours long. If you see pandas in one video, matplotlib in one video, these are not very, very very, very simple videos to create, right? These take some sufficient amount of effort. These take a lot of effort, honestly. But I'm spending time on it because I truly believe sooner or later, all software engineers are going to want to learn this. If you do it earlier, you are going to be ahead in the game. You are going to be ahead in the race. It is a race, it is a competition from the other people who are doing nothing, right? So the earlier you start, the better you're going to do. It is as simple as that. I know sooner or later, people are going to watch this playlist. People are going to come and read about Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy. They are going to learn basics of linear algebra. They are going to build apps. They are going to learn how to build agents, how to build rags. All of this is going to happen. But how soon you accept the reality, how soon you decide to upskill, that is on you. And that is what will set you apart from others. Also, when I say upskill, I don't mean to say that start preparing for interviews for machine learning role or ML ops role or something like that. For once, enjoy the process. And let me tell you my take on it. See, when I studied HLD for the first time, I felt so much confident as a software engineer because I knew how most of the big systems work, right? I started knowing how Netflix is working, how any big system out there is working. Similarly, if you spend time and upskill about MLEI, if you understand how things are working, you will feel so much more confident as a software engineer. You will know that what is happening in the industry. Right now, if you have no idea about it, you're just going through the LinkedIn and you're just going through the news and you have absolutely no idea that what people are talking about because you don't understand the basics of it, right? Once you start studying about it, once you start knowing about these things, Firstly, you will feel so much more confident that you know what is happening. Secondly, you'll be ready for the future and that fear will not be there inside you that, oh my God, what is going to happen? I have no idea what is happening in the industry. So for once, just do this for yourself. Enjoy learning about it. Okay, just enjoy the process. If I have to summarize the whole video in two lines, it is going to be number one, Accept that the world is changing, MLEI is the future. The sooner you accept it, the better it is going to be. Secondly, stop complaining about it, act upon it, upskill and do yourself a favor by making yourself more confident and being ready for it. Surround yourself with positive people who are ready to do the same, who are enjoying learning about machine learning and AI in general. This is all I had to say. This was like a short talk to you video. If you have any queries, okay, if you are finding it very hard to get started or 
what to do firstly pick up the machine learning playlist and just get started with those things if you have any doubts let me know if you still have any questions if, you, if there's still a lot of fear inside you and you want some questions to be answered let me know okay honestly i started this youtube channel to help people out there and i think this is such an important time in the industry that at this point of time all of us should be helping each other right and that is the whole point of this video i hope you found it helpful and let me know your thoughts in the comments it would mean so much also i noticed that 78 79 percent of you have still not subscribed so if you could just hit that notification bell icon and subscribe because you will only benefit the videos are completely free and if you hit that one button firstly you will get notified of all the content and content is going to be quality content i promise you Every single video that I put is going to be well researched. It's all going to be latest. I go through all the content that is there on YouTube or any blogs that are there. I go through it and I make sure that I am trying to deliver more than what is already present, right? So that is like, you don't have to worry about it. I promise that the content is going to be awesome. If you just hit that one button, I'm going to be so much more motivated. So it is going to help both of us, right? You are going to get amazing content. You will not miss it. And I will be motivated a lot to create a lot more content. So it is going to help both of us. So if you could just subscribe, it would mean a lot. And see you next time, guys. Uh, start studying. And if you have any other further questions, let me know.